Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea, for those of you who are new in here. I'm a makeup artist based in Paris. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've created this look that I think is perfect for a garden party or um, a cocktail or a wedding. This video is all about giving you a lot of tips uh, on how to create a very long lasting makeup look, something that is amazing in real life and also beautiful in pictures. So if you'd like to see how I've created this very pretty summer party inspired makeup look, then please keep on watching. I'm gonna start with this ultraviolet. This is the SPF 50 Supreme Screen. Love this product. Love, love, love. I mean, do you see? For me to finish a product, you know, it takes a lot. I have to really love it. This is great under makeup. It's great as a base. And if you're going to have your event outside, you have to apply SPF no matter what. I know that some people just don't like using SPF because of the flashback, but the truth is this SPF has no flashback. So it's safe to use for flash photography. When it comes to longevity, I would pick this foundation, not just for longevity, but it looks so beautiful in pictures and in person. By the way, you're gonna hear Baby Eden quite a lot. <laughs> My color is One Neutral 14. I'm gonna use this brush from Wicon. It's called F101. I really like it and it's a very inexpensive brand. Genuinely love, love this foundation. You want to buff it into your skin. Can we talk about the fact that my baby says Dada? And not Mama? I carried you for nine months. Listen, it's so beautiful and luminous, this foundation. A great, reliable foundation if you're going for an event outside, inside, doesn't matter. A product that I've been pleasantly surprised on how beautiful it's on the skin is this new Huda Beauty Fall Filter Concealer. A little goes a long way and I'm going to show you, th these are my main focus areas when it comes to concealer because I use the concealer also to um, to brighten so it's slightly lighter. This color is Nougat and this brush is 021 from my Kitco. So let's... You see it does not add any texture, this concealer. It's just a it's just a beautiful lightweight formula. Look at this. Okay, what is left on the brush? I'm gonna apply it on the brow bone. When the brow bone is nice and clean, it makes a huge difference in the way your whole, your whole eye makeup looks. Spread this part quick. Okay. So, a little lash right there. I think for now we are good with the skin. I'm gonna apply now some lip balm. 
this one is from Omro Vita. So the lips are gonna be nicely hydrated by the end of my makeup. I'm not gonna do anything more on the skin. I like to start with a little bit of foundation whenever I'm not sure exactly what I'm about to use. Then apply whatever my focus is gonna be. And today I, you know, I I was inspired by my top and I wanted to use this new palette from Dior. It's just so beautiful and these are colors that I don't typically use. I find that purple, purple, mauve, blue, and even green can look really, really good on brown eyes, but especially purple and blue. I think it, it just makes your eyes look very, very velvety. For very long lasting eye makeup, I strongly suggest you to use an eyeshadow primer, even if you know, you're not used with an eyeshadow primer, try something like this Laura Mercier, this is great. It cancels out if you have redness as well. I love it. Caviar Stick Eye Color, Vanilla Kiss. This is a Tom Ford 13 brush. Gonna use it to blend. And I'm going to start with this color all over the eyelid. Let's take a brush. I think I'm going to take... This is a Morphe M433. You could use just any blending brush. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not to mention uh, that... This eye primer, well, it's actually a an eyeshadow on its own, but I use it as a primer. This makes this color pop even more. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Wow, it's so gorgeous. I wouldn't expect it. So I make sure I apply it all over the eyelid. Okay, this color is just, wow, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to take a Sigma pencil brush, this is an E30, and I take the same color, but this shape is more suitable for the lower eyelid. Okay. This is a MAC 219 brush. Now I'm going to take the darkest color right here and apply it at the outer corner. And in order to make this a smooth application I just press the pigment on the eyelid I don't do back and forth motions because I know that it will have fallouts if I do that so just press it first A little bit on the lower lashes as well. Now I keep this dark color at the outer third of the eye. I'm going to lift the eye by pushing the eyeshadow a little bit higher. Yeah. 
like so. Blending brush. And just blend the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna take a classic 217 brush from MAC and get this color in the middle. A little bit higher. Yes, this is perfect. It's gonna create a very, very beautiful transition. Same thing under. You could use even the bronzer to create a, a nice transition. With the KD and Spectrum number 14 brush, I'll take this silvery blue, get this in an inner corner. I'm going to use this color right here right in between the first color that we've applied and that darker one yes oh lovely now it looks so pretty I don't think they make this anymore. Actually, I'm pretty sure they don't, but I don't know any better product than this. This is Marc Jacobs. Um, it's the fine liner, and it's like a very, very beautiful dark blue at the base of the lashes. So sad that these pencils are discontinued. I personally don't know another brand that does something similar. And I don't mean the color, because the color, you can find it, I, Charlotte Tilbury has something similar. Formula is just amazing. On top of the pencil, I'll come with the dark eyeshadow to smoke it a bit. Also, it will make it so much more long lasting. Keep adding that darker blue at the outer corner. And then on the lower lashes. This V is what lifts the eye. Okay, both eyes, both eyes, I, both eyes are done, and I am going to take this beautiful eyeshadow. This is the Super Shock Shadow, the Ultra Glitter from ColourPop. This is not only inexpensive, but it's just, let me show you, just so beautiful. I have a bunch of these. Look at this. Incredible, incredible. And you know what? I'm going to take this uh, 14, 14 brush from Katie and Spectrum and apply this in the inner corner. 
it's gonna add just a, a lot of shine let's do mascara because mascara usually makes a, a huge difference I'm using the Le Volume de Chanel from Chanel this mascara I have to go back to the review that I left on Chanel website I'm so sorry Chanel I was not like crazy obsessed over this you know at the beginning and I should have kept my mouth because I normally don't really like mascaras when they're brand new I like them when they become a little old now that it's a little old wow just it's almost like I'm dealing with a different mascara it's so good lifts the lashes so so well I take a, a lot of time on applying my mascara uh, this gives you massive lashes I feel like I need a, a pinch more concealer where it's going to it's right here In these places this is not going to add coverage but it's gonna make the under eyes slightly brighter yes and also gonna clean the eye makeup I'm going to apply a little bit on my chin and in the middle of my, in the center of my forehead. And the reason why I do this is because first I want to brighten this part of my face and second because typically my foundation tends to melt. So I want to make sure that it will stay. Okay, what's left on the brush, I try to get a little bit more coverage in areas where I feel like I need. I'm going to use this contour no sorry this is a bronzer stick from rare beauty power boost i think it's the maybe the name of the color let's just apply it from the stick okay a little bit on the nose i like this color a lot a lot Sigma Concealer F79 brush. Yes. If you have oily skin and you feel like the blush tends to fade on you so normally I wouldn't use blush with uh, this type of look but I'm just for the purpose of showing you I'm gonna apply a little bit of liquid lipstick 
on the back of my hand. This one is Nars Le Freak. Do this trick. Apply your liquid lipstick as a blush. You won't regret it. This is going to be the most long-lasting blush you've ever used in your life. Now, it does not work with a classic formula. Because a classic formula, obviously, it's a lot more hydrating. Powder, I love using powder. Love using powder. Uh, and I'm gonna apply two types of powder. First, I'll use this Prisme Libre uh, from Givenchy. And this is slightly pink. I don't know if you can see its number three with a powder puff from makeup forever this powder under the eyes just does wonders press the powder into the skin just make sure you don't have a lot on the powder puff from here is the main focus yes <gasps> God, it looks so beautiful, this powder. I promise you, first, you will not have your mascara that will smudge. Second, it will give a very beautiful, clean look. And then it will also brighten the under eyes. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use Makeup Forever. This is the HD, Ultra HD setting powder. I'm using Vanilla. I love this brush for powder. Because it's nice and fluffy. So we won't deposit a lot of powder on the skin. And I do a very, very light layer everywhere your luminizer in nude riviera this is a beautiful more like a finishing powder because i couldn't call this a highlighter i could not call it a bronzer it's somewhere in between and just take it with a brush and apply it. You see this beautiful shine in here? For the eyebrows, I'll use the Rifi uh, Eyebrow Pencil in color medium. And it has a more waxy consistency. I've recently dyed my, well, not myself. I went to this amazing salon. If you ever want to do your eyebrows in Paris, you have to check out this salon. I'm going to put it in the description. They make the absolute best eyebrows. Okay. Well, not too much of this product. And then Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Mascara on the lower lashes. You almost want to massage the lashes with the wand. And a good tip if your mascara tends to print in here, take a little bit of loose powder, just a tiny amount with a brush. Where's my powder in here? Like a super small amount. And dip just the tip of your lashes in the powder like so. Just a tip. Whoop. I promise you, I promise you the mascara will not move. Now, one last powder. I know there's a lot of powder going on. 
um, is this vital pressed skincare powder from from Westman Atelier. This comes in three different colors, or at least I received three. This pink, white, and the one that I just showed you. This one is in the color creme. And I am telling you, I don't know what is going on with this powder, but when you apply it, like, you know, a lot of us have this darkness right here. You guys, it's almost like it's erasing. I don't even know what this powder is for, but since I received it, that's how I've used it. And it's fantastic, brightens like nothing else. And it looks like you have no powder on it. It's amazing. Also, you can use it in here to clean this space. I, I love it. I love it. This is a refer 13 brush. A little bit of what's left on my concealer brush all around the lips. It will make the application of the lipstick perfect. This is Urban Decay Lip Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked 2. With the eyes being so loud, I feel like I need the lips to be more quiet. Now, the lipstick will be this NARS. It's called Get It On. And I'll just do a few dots. You don't need a lot of this lipstick. It's it's super, it's just super long lasting. And a little goes a long way. These new lip glosses from Laura Mercier, they are so beautiful, so beautiful. I've got this color, Melted Sugar. I think it's gonna look beautiful. I've put it on the back of my hand. As I don't want a lot, I just need a bit of shine, a bit of hydration. This way, oh my god, this feels amazing. It's a little sweet. Um, this way you're going to have color on your lips, but also shine, and it's going to be long-lasting. Now, the last thing I'll apply will be this Ilia highlighter. Wow, this Ilia highlighter is one of the most long-lasting and the most beautiful liquid highlighters out there i'm so impressed with this not to mention you know ilia is a clean brand so it's safe if you have very sensitive sensitive skin i'll take a beauty blender i'll bend it like this add extra shine This is also great if you have oily skin. I would normally go for lashes for a special get event. Definitely makes uh, it makes a big difference in pictures. I don't know if you've uh, ever tried lashes, but it really gives your eyes a special contour. 
even if you have beautiful long lashes I mean I think that I'm blessed with beautiful lashes however when I apply individuals it's just another story so I'm gonna pop them on really quick and I think we're done I wouldn't add anything more on this makeup look overall this palette is just so beautiful I didn't even tell you the color the name it's called blue velvet 189 blue velvet I want I had to choose between this one and this these are not really my colors but it's beautiful for example if you have green eyes hope you enjoyed this look this uh, cute little top I have it from Jacques Mousse and I'm going to link it in the description Hopefully I find it somewhere because I bought it in the store. These are my earrings that I have created in collaboration with Cinco. They are called Tina. They're part of the six pieces of jewelry that I've created with Cinco. These I wear on repeat. I have some other styles. If you want to check out the collection, I'm going to put it in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!